What's up, guys? In fact, Zena in here broadcasting Gary 90 at 1268 versus oh my god, a lol, it's Jay at 95. So, Gary opens up Foolish and Graf to special summon Sir. Uh, then he's gonna normal summon Skarm to make Dante. Dante's gonna mill three, milling a Sir, which can trigger its effect. Fun fact, he's only milling one uh, to get Graf. He's gonna set a couple backs and end his turn. And he's gonna search tour guide unless he has a discard outlet, which in case he'll probably grab something else. I don't know what he would grab. Man, that sucks that he's burned through two surge already. Wait, you special summon sir. I did. Graph's effect. He triggered all three effects that turn, which is a pretty good, strong opening hand. I'm sorry about all the burning abyss being posted. Like if you guys really don't want burning abyss, let me know. Uh, in the comments, and then I'll obviously just not do that. You use two sirs in one turn, then? Question mark. Cool. Man, people are interesting people. Foolish graph to bring out sir. Normal summon Skarm. Hmm. Into Dante. He knows he's wrong, so he just drew. Morning's too hard. <laughs> Ugh, gotta complain. Alright. So, the young artifact ignition gonna come down, blind the middle back row. It's an MST, and then uh, he's going to set a Moral Talk, presumably, from his deck. But you can never be too sure. He's going to send Beagle Tech, see? That's what I mean by you can never be too sure. So, Beagle Tech going to be set. Should all Fusion coming down for that Young Vanities and that Young Artifact Ignition. That's a pretty good opening hand. Crap, that's annoying. <laughs> he's going to set Beagle Tech. I mean, Moral Talk. And now Fusion Resolve, sending Beasts, and what, Skomata? Oh no, because he'd need to get, um, he would need to make a uh, Construct. So he's going to send Lights. Maybe another Artifact card. The Artifact build is my favorite build right now. But now he just makes Construct, sends Beast, and with Skomata, sends Falco. Like artifact, the artifact cards put you up in advantage, but like the two back rows are fake back row, you know. So like, I don't know. I really don't. I like the artifact build just because I feel like it's powerful because you can just literally win with only artifacts. But um, like sometimes you just dead draw them and they're not real back rows. Like your opponent isn't gonna blind if they're not bad, um, especially after after you ignition. Like you already know that those two back rows are um, Beagle Tech and Moral Talk. So unless you have Sanctum in hand ready and he has a BLS, so unless you have Sanctum in hand ready, like it's gonna be really hard. So now, BLS coming down already turn 1. BLS is obviously going to banish the Dante. Um, so that means Sir has no backs. And, um, I mean, Sir has no Dante target. So Sir is going to come back and bring out Skarm. Yep. And then Construct will probably run over Graph. I would run over Graph. So, bitching going on the side. Wagyo! Yeah, he did open up pretty nutty, not gonna lie. Two shit off fusion, BLS. Probably top to BLS at the B still. But fusion, two ignition. Um, What else did he have? I don't think we've seen the other backs. Well, apparently a Caius as well. God, this guy is on fire. I wouldn't even attack. So, Gary just gonna scoop it up knowing that he's fucking kind of nothing against BLS, Caius, and the world. So, let's go to some siding. So if you wanna go ahead and click the links down below, be my guest, be my guest, be my guest. Yeah, I love that song. That song is like tits. Like when I'm on the car going to school, I just blast that song and I'm like, yo. 
But uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. I don't know what to say when people are sighting. It's pretty weird. So, Gary's going to open up Mathematician. Opening up Mathematician is always a good play in Burning Abyss. Because you can send a Skarm. And it's only basically good turn one. That's what I don't like about Mathematician. Like, I feel like he's obviously a powerful card. But he dies too fast. I don't know. Outside of turn one, I don't feel like he's that great. So he's going to put Tour Guide already so he doesn't have to go back into his deck a second time. Then going to set two backs. Hopefully one of them's a chainable. I feel like that's how BA wins. Opening chainable traps. Uh, you play like six of them usually now. And um, if you don't open up at least one of them, it's kind of bad. So, oh my god, Lord J is going to set one monster. Set one back. Set two back. Set three back. Set four backs. Holy fuck. That's a lot of backs. It's more backs than Burning Abyss. So, Tour Guy coming down. Starting to hit out those vanities, the warnings, the breakthroughs. And, of course, Breakthrough is going to come down. So, now Mathematician going to attack. Hoping that it's a Skomata, so he doesn't just hit with Tour Guide and then just auto-lose. So, now Sinister Shadow Games is going to be activated on Jay's side of the field. And he's probably going to send Dragon to blind the back or something. Or maybe a Beast. No, Skomata. No flip. Um, to send Beast. I would assume. And that's a Falco face down. Also, if it was a Falco, he would have gotten distracted by Tour Guide. So that's why he attacked with Mathematician first. Made the perfect play. Because normal normal summon monster. Like normal set monster by by Burning Abyss is less than 1500. So now Falco is going to come out. He's going to not take anything. And Beast is going to come down. Now the right play here is to attack with Tour Guide. Why did he not attack with Tour Guide? No. <laughs> the right play is to attack. Because he's going to go hope for Alucard to resolve. Like, the right play was to attack the beast, honestly. Because it only gets its effect once per turn. So if you attack it, you take 700, but he's not going to get the effect. Now, obviously, if he has a breakthrough skill or something else, it, it's irrelevant. But I'm just saying the play I would have made was attack with a tour guide. Sure, you take 700, but he's not going to get the effect. Like, if he lets that resolve, then he misplayed just really hard, okay? There you go. He has that. No one plays that card. That's pretty interesting. So the beast gets banished, and he pretty much needed that to resolve. So now he just beats down with tour guide and mathematician and any other tour guide or mathematician that he draws, and that's 25 per turn, and it's putting Jay on the clock. So yeah, let's see. He has back, so it's not like he has nothing. So in comes artifact sanctum. Hopefully he flips with the vanities, cause um, kind of needs it. <sighs> Man, watch. He's gonna win just because of this card. So he's gonna send me moral talk. Pop the Mathematician. He probably has Breakthrough skill for it, but that's not the matter. No, he doesn't even have the freaking... Ouch. I'm gonna tribute it for the Ryza. Ooh, top deck in the Moral Talk. That's pretty good. Oof, that's killer. Sets a back row. Ryza's really good right now. He's gonna pass. He's not even gonna set the moral talk. So now you just poke for Ryza and put him on the clock again. He has another Sanctum? Nope. So you know one card in his hand. Now if you have Mind Crush, I will call Moral Talk right now, just so I can scout his hand. Um, you know he at least has the moral talk. So that's fine. He has what Skomada, Falco, and Grave. I'll gladly let him take 2000 for that. So let's see. He's gonna tribute that for the Caius. Caius is gonna attempt to banish Ryza. Will it be successful in doing so? Is the question. Probably, unless he has another Chaos Trapple. We'll find out now. Yes, it was successful. Now he synchros for eight or not. Just beats down with Kaisen Falco. Captain Falco! Tour Guide's effect. Let's see how many responses he has. That young Super Polly, though. Oof, that's really fucking tits. <laughs> so he's gonna sit on Skarm now. He has backs, though, so it's not like it matters. What would really matter is if he fuck. Well, uh, this is gonna be really good. Oh wait, so I'm gonna fucking make graph now. Right? No, sir. 
Doing the right play, attacking over Falco. There you go. So, shit, I dropped my deck. My deck, too. Oh, crap. Tickle sticks. My bad. <laughs> Alright, so. He's gonna tribute Caius for Caius. Oh, my goodness, that's insane. <laughs> that's really titty. So, that's gonna banish that. He's gonna. The breakthrough skill is gonna fucking fly. Like, fly out of the screen and hit that Caius. So he's just gonna end his turn, he's not even gonna attack. I wanna know what that back is, he hasn't used it all game. Probably an artifact. Probably though, not for sure. Composer, I saw the video with some guy called the Compository, and that's what I call it now. So Compository, hitting that young window. <laughs> I love that name, Compository, like how the fuck do you get that? <laughs> Alright, so let's see what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna have like another. Well, yeah, I just realized like he just summons any BA, Mings Dante. He's gonna Karma cut the fucking Caius, and that's game. <laughs> so BA taking that one. Pretty nice. My BA list right now is really weird. I don't know. I don't play it conventionally, as I never do play anything conventionally. But uh, right now I'm maining Triple Valor and BLS, but no rank ups. Um, I like B Ray Valor right now, like, Valor is really good right now, especially in your Satella matchup, which is infinitely harder than your Shadal matchup. You stop in there, the Nebs and their Altairs just once or twice, and you basically outgrind them out of that, because they rely on getting that the Neb search turn one, because usually, every fucking Satella player ever versus me opens up Rhoda or the Neb set four, always, like, no questions asked. So if I Valor that, then it'll just be set four, and then he's hoping on the top decks, and I'll have answers for that. And then, because I could do something like math edition or tour guide or anything, and bait out the alpha, and then they'd have to have MS, they'd have to have color the haunted, and me not have MST or stuff like that. So it just becomes basically like a if then thing, where if I open Vader, I just fuck them up. In the mirror match, stopping math edition and tour guide is just really titty right now. Um, like really titty in my opinion right now, because like I don't know, sometimes you really need that math edition to resolve turn one or tour guide to resolve turn one, and then if they Vader, you're just like, well shit. Versus random rogue decks, it's pretty good too. Obviously, it does, it's whatever versus Tele Knights, it's not the best. But they do play Armageddon Knight and Mathematician, so you can still hit those. You could still hit, you know, Falcos, Beasts, Constructs, stuff like that. It's whatever, it's not the best, but it, it still gets in there. So I think like is pretty decent right now. You know, I really don't like Upstar Goblin in Burning Abyss. I really just don't. I feel like Burning Abyss is a, really is a deck that focuses heavily on poking. And then when you're getting them a thousand more to poke, it's like, fuck, Skarm can't even hit that much. Like, I don't know. I don't like it. But whatever. Apparently it's good because people are topping YCSs with it, but that's not me. But maybe I'll test it and I'll like it. I haven't really tested it, so it's coming off pure theory. I like Supply Squad a lot in my deck. He's gonna go Sanctum on his turn, which not pop anything, but to have a 21 beater on board. I would've Sanctum first and not draw, but whatever. Hit that shit off if you're trying to bait out that fucking vanities. <laughs> is he gonna hit the is he gonna bait out the vanities though? That's a real question. Come on. Um yeah, I I, I guess. Different dimension ground. Okay, Gary, come on, boy. You have five fucking cards on 20. Okay, so in the next 10 years, we'll figure out if it was A okay. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Okay, I guess not. It's not okay. Did I like lag out or something? No, I didn't like out. I, I don't think I did. Yes, no. <laughs> um, six, seven, maybe eight. Ten years, months. Uh, maybe ten. Yes. Sending moral talk and hedgehog from his fucking hand to make construct construct effect chain link two hedgehog chain link one. Construct will send dragon. 
or Falco. And then Hedgehog will search Dragon. Okay, so let's find out. Obviously, if he has a response to construct with Hedgehog, I'd add Falco. So, just saying. God, this guy's playing so slow. I think. One problem I um, have with BA is sometimes I'll just open up Seren traps and then you just cry because like, it can the Seren by itself. But uh, hopefully, the new BA cards address this. Like, you know, Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Hopefully, it addresses the. Not con I wouldn't say consistency because this deck is like extremely consistent, but like I don't know, you get awkward hands sometimes, and hopefully we get like an avarice card to shuffle back cards that'd be insane. Like imagine you could just put back Sirs and Dantes. Well, I wouldn't want to put back Dantes, but like put back Sirs and stuff because sometimes late game you'll like early game you'll mill like three burning abyss and you're like fuck, that's pretty, basically it. So you'd have to go fortune tune to shuffle them back and shit and stop for time. But um, yeah. We need a Avarice card. Okay, so construct successfully down. Falco going down. Construct gonna swing in for 28. Probably gonna get hit by a discard outlet though. Should be. Karma cutting. God, this is a really bad situation for Gary though. He's down four cards to his opponent's five. His opponent has a normal summon. Setting the young dragon. Setting some back row. Is it gonna get an Infused MSC? No, it's not. Gary drawing. Top deck in the mathematician. If that gets warning or fucking breakthrough, that's game. But it's not, and it resolves. So, like, so that's what I'm telling you. Sometimes you just need that mathematician to resolve, and if it doesn't, eh, it's basically over. Unless he had traps them, but then if he had a warning, ouch. So he's gonna attack the dragon, presumably. And before Skomada getting outplayed. Nope. Yeah, that's getting bounced back. Basically, oh my God, Lolit's J is gonna try to OTK. I feel. So end phase, Skarm is going to search for tour guide, and uh, yeah, Minecart is another really good card this form, but like right now, hitting my, hitting um, tour guide, oh he's getting Sir, so you know it's fucking going down, that fucking discard outlet, effects, chaos, trap, when a lightning duck monster would be summoned to Ru, pay it to 2000 rife points, negate the summon, and if you do, banish it to the room. That's exactly the OCG translation. Um, so, a layer of darkness coming down. Draw two cards. Banish of Caius. That's fine. Let's see what he's going to get. That young foolish burial. Burial. Sending Skomada. Skomada going to send Dragon. Maybe. Maybe he has a card he really wants to go in his hand. Or if maybe he just hands whatever. He wants to get Beast. He's going to switch summon another Falco. That ain't Falco in defense mode and ending his turn. But he already activated one effect, but that negates the activation, bro. Falco. <laughs> I hate him ask that too. What is that? Like, how many should also you know that's better summon himself in face on the fence position, bro? Tell me. Alright, so Mathematician coming down. Math imitation. Mathematician's pretty troll. It has a boat fucking on its hair. It has like googly eyes on its stick. Sending Skarm. Skarm. Mathematician's gonna attack maybe. My dog wants to be in the commentary. What's up? Do a commentary with my dog. My dog. That'd be a pretty cool title, huh? Do a commentary with my dog. Combo my dog. That'd be pretty sick. I don't know. So he's gonna warn you that activation. And things quickly went in Gary's favor. Um, just that top deck mathematician really went in there, having the karma cut. And what else did he have? The chaos trap hole. So maybe chaos trap hole is a little better than we thought. It's basically solid morning versus them. And he's just gonna draw and pass. So his hand's not great. His face down is probably an artifact card. So now he's just gonna summon tour guide. Tour guide get sir, and I would just poke for days because I am not gonna hit my extra deck unless it's gonna be game that turn ever. Versus Shadal's and ever, 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 ever. Especially when you have discard outlets to fucking help you out when they summon Dragon and Skomada. Like, hell no. So that's 30, that's 4,100 points of damage. So next turn is game if he has nothing to contest. Uh, oh, why would you do that unless you have vanities? But I feel like that face on could be an ignition or something. I would not overlay, honestly. 
but he says fuck the rules and he's gonna touch sir mill one milling vanity's emptiness sir is gonna bring back skarm skarm's gonna kill itself getting a tour guide for next turn he's gonna set a back one now he really needs to have vanities and a discard outlet i feel in order to be safe to make the dante play in my opinion he obviously has one obviously see I mean, obviously the Vanity Sentinel is going to fly. Lee, oh my goodness, what the fuck? I don't know. I mean, it's not like that he has that many cards left in the deck, and he'd have to make Construct, and he obviously has answers for Construct. Yeah, I really don't know why he XYZ'd. He obviously has answers for days, though, because, um, obviously. But, uh, whatever. So, Construct. Effect. Send Dragon. Uh, draw a card. Mm -hmm. He's gonna hit the discard outlet and he's gonna lose though. That was an MST. And it was a trap stun. Uh, chain the trap, chain the trap now. Uh. Yep. He didn't see that coming. The grass effect kills itself. Scarm kills itself. Scarma cut. Scarma cut. Title of the video. I had no other title. I make really no mass titles if you haven't noticed. That's pretty funny though, Scarma cut. <laughs> That's troll. Alright, so Regeki, the last thing is field. Oof, that sucks ass. Imagine he just drops like BLS and normal summons a monster and wins, that'd be so fucking troll. And it'd be his fault for going into the extra deck, like I told you guys. There was no reason to go into the extra deck. You could have still you didn't need that. Like, what the fuck? He didn't need to at all, period. But I uh, he's not gonna have anything, he's gonna set two backs. Skarm search, unless he's gonna forget, but I doubt it. This is high rated DN duels. You don't forget. Forgetting is for low rated DN duels. So, Gary thinking if he wants to search, I guess. I don't know. I wish I could check their grave to see how many fucking thing. Man, don't complain. I just play without attention to this game. So why are you going to win? What? What? Man, don't complain. I just play without attention in this game. So why you're going to win? No one's complaining. What? What? So, to a guide of the underworld coming down. From the underworld, not of the underworld. He's already used, like, what, two moral talks, I think? Like this is where you. This is the point of the game where you start counting cards. No, <laughs> something that an attack mode. There you go. Chain disappearance coming down on. I mean, both sirs are gone, and then he searched all his tour guides. So, I think that's all he would have left. Oh, it's from hand too. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Ah, oh, it's tittier when it's from their hand. Oh my god. When it's from their hand, you go plus one. So he's gonna take sixteen hundred. Hopefully he has discard outlets. If he has discard outlets, he's fine, honestly. So, oh my god, Lola's J is going to draw. It's bound time before he draws BLS or something. Let's see. Mathematician? Effect? Sure. What is he going to send? How much does he have left? Diddy Crow. That's when you don't want to draw. That's when he's trying to grind for that BLS. Summon another BA. Attack, attack. You just have to have an out to that fucking BLS and that's it. I feel like if he doesn't have that many more Shadals, then I will make Dante right now. Dante stack downward, obviously. I would have to see his graveyard, though. But he probably has discard outlets, so it doesn't matter. Did he draw the BLS? Did he draw it? 
GG, Gary 90 wins, proving Shadals do not lose to fucking... I mean, uh, BA does not lose to Shadals. I don't know, I feel like that matchup is super free, uh, honestly. And um, But yeah, feel free to disagree in the comments below. Um, yeah, what you guys think about this video? Let me know, like it up, comment, share, subscribe, masturbate too, I don't fucking care. Thank you guys for watching, <laughs> infect this in and out, have a good one guys.